started. This is the Vaude Villains with Road Rave, a Jurassic traffic meltdown. What this is, think of it as nature strikes back. This is starting out with, you know, basic driving and then chaos envelops between potholes and the smog and everything else and the car crashes. And then the glaciers start to melt and then all of a sudden a prehistoric beast is released. Basically, it's nature getting back at us to make things right. So I guess this is the glacier melting, perhaps. That's very pretty. The prehistoric beast isn't Jackie Bam Bam, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Our beloved MMR bummer, Mr. Bam Bam. I believe he already came by earlier. Oh, there's the beast. Wow. I gotta get me one of those. Looks awful like a pterodactyl, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's a lot of work putting that together. I love the, the icicle people. The they, layers of costuming throughout the whole performance. Yeah, I definitely dig the costume in this performance for sure. This uh, this is well done. But I mean, how many people would you guess are in this contingent, Steve? I mean, 40 people, 50 people, plus yeah, all the helpers? 45 or so, 50. Yeah. So just the amount of practice even to put this together is phenomenal. Makes you think. Road Rave, a Jurassic traffic meltdown from Vaude Villains. Good job to Con and Melissa and Al and Marcus and everyone involved with Vaude Villains. We have the Fiasco New Year's Brigade coming into view now. And their theme is Mummin' Ain't No Joke. Captain Ryan Bolin. Like Franny and the Bolin family are all involved. So the idea behind this is the Jokers are going to wreak havoc on Philadelphia trying to spoil New Year's Day, and Batman's out trying to stop the Joker and his guys. But uh, he's, he's outnumbered. Batman gets overtaken by the Jokers, and a fiasco ensues. And, of course, the name is Fiasco, New Year's Brigade. While we have a moment, and the word Joker came up, I want to thank the Jokers. I was involved earlier this year, Nick Beer, with the Jokers' 70th anniversary celebration, and they were uh, very welcoming and, and, and very kind. Uh, they're quite a group, Bill Wickert and Michael Zancoli, and they were honoring people like uh, you know, Dave Bozinski and Roe Laser and Butchie D'Amato and Bill, the late Bill uh, Kahn and Joan Kahn. Tom Morley uh, was at the clubhouse um, you know, getting honors, Ed Cook. Uh, Mike Grubb, Keith Olkowski, and, and, and others. Just a great, great time. And, and Jokers is, is interesting. Uh, they always provide a quality presentation at the Fancy Brigades and a very family-focused organization. And they, actually, they take credit. They may have actually done something. You hear about these serenades that happen in South Philadelphia when the string bands and the Fancy Brigades go out. And, and in particular, uh, Hat Day or Kazoo Day, which is in December uh, ahead of the parade. Well, a long time ago, the Jokers may have been the first one that went out sort of showboating, kind of showing what their performance was going to be like, or just kind of like, oh, yeah, we're here, we're going to be something on New Year's Day. And that developed into the serenades that happen in the neighborhoods these days. Which, that's, by the way, I didn't really understand the, the tradition until I was uh, kind of enlightened about it, but that's such a neat tradition of the, of the, uh, the grooms-to-be to uh, serenade their new brides. So why not join them, right?
So has anyone ever proposed during an actual performance that you can remember? It's a good question. There have been proposals up and down the parade route. And after the parade, there have been a number. I think there may have been one. I just can't remember what it was. I know there was there was one right out on the street right here because I was involved in it. Wow. <laughs> but, um, but, but. I've seen all these great <coughs> rock bands this, this week from Government Mule to the Struts to Greta Van Fleet to a record company last night at all these great Philly venues. And at the Struts show, this young British band, the lead singer brought a guy out and he proposed to his girlfriend on stage. It was so oh, wow. great. Yeah. I love things like that. Did she say yes? She did, okay. yes. <laughs> Which does help. Never assume, right? Right. <laughs> All right, coming into play here, Funny Bones. Their uh, theme, The Nights Were Made for Dancing. That's K-N-I-G-H-T-S, The Nights Were Made for Dancing. Captain Anthony Iannacone and co-captain Mia Iannacone. And they want to give a shout-out to Tommy DeBono, a pre-K student at Sacred Heart School in Havertown. Lots of folks watching from around the, the region. Pete and Magda up in Bucks County, for example. Yeah, also a quick shout-out to those folks that are continuing to streaming from all over the place. You know, we got got thousands of folks that are streaming as we speak right now uh, from outside the region. So that's also a big part of Bumper's tradition. If you can't be here, you know, to be able to check it out wherever you are in the country or the world is something very special indeed. So there are folks like Gabby Zakwea, whose dad uh, used to be the captain um, of Polish American String Band. She's out on the street. You got people on the stream, and you got people watching on TV, like Claire, who's in Roxborough. Claire makes some mean cookies. <laughs> oh, love those nights. Love those nights. Nights on Broad Street. So back in the day, <laughs> you had sort of boring, you know, round table music. <laughs> but in the mum world, Severe musical segues right there. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, there really are, Nick. There would have been a lot, le lot less fighting if Knights wore tutus. <laughs> Everything from the Bee Gees to David Lee Roth is covered here. That's my financial advisor. <laughs> <laughs> one person with anything but a smile on their face from that gentleman to the kid. I mean, it's just, it's, it's the simple beauty of this wonderful festive celebration. There he is. Your advisor. Yeah. And there, that's the only kid I don't see smiling because he cut the whole helmet on. <laughs> the whole headpiece. That's amazing. And they're all wearing golden slippers, as they always do. And you can kind of tell when it's getting close to the parade. If you drive through or walk along the blocks in parts of South Philadelphia, for example, and you just look across the curve, you're on the sidewalk, you just look over onto the street, and you'll see gold spray. But <laughs> the outline of boots and shoes and tennis shoes, you know, like it's, it's black in the middle, which is the gold spray paint around the outside. 
as they get ready. In fact, there have been years when it's been hard to find gold spray paint. Really? Yeah. There's a run on gold spray paint. Well, and you figure you got 10,000 marchers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes they, 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 it needs to be repainted every year. Or you just have new people coming in, especially the kids, you know, and the kids' shoe sizes change. So, you know, you, you're doing that all the time. It's it's a, it's a part of a right. You know, hey, let's go outside. And so you make sure you don't get it on a car that's parked out there, and you basically just try to get it done. I was honored earlier this year to be uh, inducted into the Philadelphia Music Alliance Walk of Fame, and I have a plaque at Broad and Pine, if anyone yeah. is in that neighborhood. But please, no gold spray paint around it if you no. could avoid that area. <laughs> and curb your dog. And please, yes. <laughs> if you always wanted to step on me, there's your opportunity. <laughs> This is, I believe, the final performance in the Murray Comic Club. This is Mitzvitz, New Year's Brigade, breaking out of the pen. Bianca Nigro, President, Al Curran, Vice President, Pat McAleer. Go Captain Billy Campetti. Sighting or two. Well, but missing some of his garb, though. Um, just a few things. If you went to an Elvis concert, you would know that he would throw his scarf into the audience. There's not much to throw here. There's not a lot. <laughs> you can throw a giant safety pen, then I don't know what happened. Elvis babies. I saw Elvis a year before he passed. And it was quite spectacular. I mean, he, he was the king. But I think he'd be, well, I don't know if he'd be exactly proud of those guys, but I think he'd love it. See, on this great day, and those colors just pop out. So many colors this year. Uh, we've been talking about that, Pierre. Throughout the day, just the colors have really been popping this year. And you guys had a shot of a little bit of swirling snow somewhere, but it's certainly not in Center City. Uh, it's great outside. Well, there you have it, the Murray Comic Club. We're standing by for Good Timers Comic Club and for... Thanks, Jenna. Freddie is a legend. Uh, Good Timers now, the second mother club of the three mother clubs in the comic division. This is the Southside Shooters New Year's Association with Captain Joseph Durso. Marching in memory of Anthony Durso, who passed away just before Christmas, Joe's brother. He was a mummer for over 60 years and a mummer's Hall of Fame inductee. This is a graveyard theme. Skeletons in a Halloween-themed boneyard recreate a friend and get them ready to strut. a skeleton can strut come on <laughs> when all else fails you strut it could really be a motto to live by think about it that's true and you know it could be summertime and you're going what do i do you strut 
It's fall. What do I do? Strut. Three months from now, what do you do? You know the answer. There you go. Well done. The good timers just beginning. We have Saturday Night Santa moving into position now. Thank God for PHL 17, you know, broadcasting this parade, because if you can't make it down here, to be able to see it in the variety of ways that you've talked about is so cool. My buddy Bill Torchwell's in the hospital. He always comes to it, but he can't be here today because he just had some surgery. He's doing great, but he's watching, you know, and thank God PHL 17 is here to broadcast this great Philly tradition. This is Augustine DiBernardo, and this is a disco party at Santa's workshop. <laughs> Santa's got style. Santa's hitting the sauce. Hmm. Just milk. That's right. <laughs> yes, of course. Steve. Go get some cookies. That's it. Reindeer milk. Right. Mrs. Claus looking on not quite approvingly. <laughs> Interesting club captain performance underway here. And a little more uh, Saturday Night Fever entering the soundtrack. Santa's trying to shed some layers here, I think. Got Mrs. Claus in the act. Another answer to the question, what happens to Santa after Christmas? And so that's what happens. You fly around the world, uh, you go a little disco. Uh, we have with us here the one and only Pierre Robert, and of course he's been with us for much of the morning as Nick Foley. And Nick, I understand you got to run. You've only been up since, uh, I don't know, you know 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Listen, I can stay here for a while. I'd enjoy <laughs> it. This is fantastic. So, well, thank As long you as it that. wasn't like one degree like it was two years ago. Oh, my, yes. oh, that was, uh, yeah, that was, that was time, amazing. So. But thank you very much. Happy thank New Year to you. Thank you very much. Happy New Year to you both. Best. Appreciate it. Great to see you, I'm going to go get myself one of those jackets right now. I'll be I've ready for next year. You. I'd yeah. like you to do? see you on television with this. You would? Okay. Okay. I yep. might I might have to make that work somehow. I won't word as well as you, though, I promise. <laughs> he has his own line. Yeah. <laughs> At any rate, uh, I want to do a quick shout-out to here, by the way, and congratulations to Chrissy Lippy Bruno and to Joe Bruno and their son, Nicholas Bruno of Williamstown, New Jersey, made first-team all-conference West Jersey American Division football team. So that's great, and uh, doing great. So a lot of folks who are mummers and, and fans of mummers and having good stories to tell as 19 ended and as 20 is beginning, we hope yours this year is starting out and you're going to have one of the greatest years, if not the greatest year, that you've had yet. So uh, good luck to you. We have a lot more of this parade coming. They're getting into position right now. Joker's wild New Year's Brigade. And now Gormley. I think Joker's moved through. A Rocky Balboa theme, Rocky on Broad Street. Captain Joe Gormley. This is the Gormley Brigade. So, Pierre, we got ourselves a ring here. Uh, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And Rocky is entering the ring with his three tiered umbrella. And to the delight of the crowd. Rocky has never looked better. <laughs> it's just great. <laughs> Shari Williams has just joined us from 6ABC on PHL 17. I'm Steve Highsmith along with Pierre Robert and Shari as we look at Rocky and his various manifestations over the years. I think I'm here just in time. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. Good to join you. Great to see you. Not exactly the most energetic push-ups I've ever seen, but uh, <laughs> they're doing the best they can. He's the best. <laughs> oh, I just love this. We're up to Rocky Four. <laughs> I would imagine this is a popular skit sometimes, right? Here yeah, in the city with Rocky. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, there's not a day of the year that you drive past the art museum that someone is not running up those steps. At any hour, by the way, of the day or night. So true, so iconic. It's what people come here to do on, when they're visiting. It's one of the first things I did. Of did course, you really? when I, Oh yeah, and yeah I, when my right. parents came to visit, we had to do it also. Yeah. The strut. Jackie Bam Bam on WMMR does the seventh inning strut every evening around 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does. And, um, and uh, I've been a part of that. You have been. Well, yeah. Steve Heisman's voice is heard every single evening in the 10 o'clock uh, hour on WMMR. So you're telling me I'm missing a world famous strut that happens daily where you work? Well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only because you're working. <laughs> but that's uh, the other thing. Yes. Oh, there we go. Well, so the voice you just hear is Shari Williams. Shari, Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, guys. Thanks yeah. for having me back. And, and Happy and New Year to everyone Pierre out there. Is, uh, <laughs> the man of vision addressing himself somehow, or addressing himself. I don't. I don't know which. I heard he said he can't even really see in that. I but, can't see a but thing. But it looks good on you, so <laughs> but you know. It's the kaleidoscope glasses. I, mean, I think my hat's not right, but it'll have to do. Well, so we just saw Gormley. We'll get back a, a, out of order here to Captain Joe Showers. I believe is coming up. Um, it was swinging at Joker style or feuding at Joker style, if they're coming out there. So. We'll, well, we'll return to that if we can, but I just wanted to welcome you again, and thanks yeah. for all the great job you do on PHL 17 and for all of 6ABC at night. Thank you so much, and of course, um, we're so appreciative to our viewers, those of us who support us at Action News. It means the world to us to be a part of the community, uh, and just as I was coming, making my way here, I had plenty of people saying hello and Happy New Year, so it's great to be back, and of course, um, to be here to see the celebrations on New Year's Day, how Philadelphia does it. So a swinging theme here. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I love that. Captain Joe Showers and co-captain Pete Conscious. With the new decade and the 2020s, we'll probably get a number of 2020s themes throughout the decade. But we've had a few today. And this is involving part of it. Definitely 
toe tapping music that they're using here. It's a toe tapper. The amazing production that will happen later on this evening at the convention center is quite wonderful. But to me, the street performances, you know, that's where it began. Yeah. There's something just to be said about, you know, wow, you know, people popping out of boxes. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, confetti. And of course, we confetti. We need that. It's beautiful. I like the color scheme that they have, the accident, like hot red, hot pink. Yeah. And right as they're playing, a touch of sun has... Uh, they caught the confetti, didn't it? Yeah, they really did. Arrived on uh, Broad Street. Well, there they go. And coming up, in good timers, is the Neverlanders New Year's Brigade. Uh, we're going we're gonna to take a look at their performance when they're ready. And it's... All right, thank you, Kelsey. Kelsey's got the right last name, by the way. It's Fabian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Neverlanders New Year's Brigade, Captain Michael Erickson, You've Got a Mum and Me, a Toy Story inspired theme. Kids are bringing it. <laughs> the flossy, right? They call that move. <laughs> the floss, the flossy. So when Jackie plays your voice every Monday through Friday evening, you say, Steve, that this is the oldest folk parade in the country. Is that correct? That is correct. It's, it's a, really an amazing statistic if you think about it. It is, and it's certainly the oldest continuous. You know, there might have been one. But, but you can trace this back to the 1640s, even before Billy Penn got here, with the Swedes and the English, and they added different flavors. Some would shoot things into the air and be, you know, a little have a little revelry. Others would, the English in particular, brought the, re the reciting of rhymes and doing things, you know, getting together with family. And then the Germans brought the, the, the Belsnickel, the, pre the precursor of Santa Claus. And so you had a lot of different things that came together in the melting pot, pot that is Philadelphia. And then as the 1700s unrolled and the 1800s unrolled and different influences, African-American influences, um, then the you know, Irish and Italian immigration you know, Im influences, and then where we are today and the evolution that's taking place. And, you know, evolution's the kind of thing where you often don't see it. Right. You know, you're going to look back and say, oh, that, that happened. But the, the parade's been changing, you know, yeah. as, as, since the 1980s. I've seen it and uh, change. And and it's continuing to change. And I think it's, you know, it, where it will probably end up is trying to be more reflective of who we are. And, the melting you know, part. like being relevant to your time. Right. You know, and, and I think that that's, that's where it's going. And, and, but and that, keep would, that would be great, you know, yeah. to continue yeah. how it started, keeping yeah. the portions of the tradition and then seeing how those who are today could bring their flavor to it as well. Baby Shark. Swinging with the fishes is the theme. And Captain Danny Smith, the Happy Tappers New Year Brigade.
swing in the strut. Now just wave your parasol and, <laughs> and have a good time. Have a good time. Yeah. Twirl. Can't go wrong with twirling. We've actually had twirling in the parade. Oh, yes. Yeah, there has been. <laughs> Not today, but, okay. we, but there have been performances that have done that. The spring band, for example. Wow. That's what I say when I play the Grateful Dead on the on MMR. Just twirl. Let yourself go. <laughs> go in circles. I love the Grateful Dead. One of my favorite lines, uh, is it in um, Touch of Grey? It is, um, it's even worse than it seems, but it's all right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I love yeah. that. Embrace it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Like, but at any rate, uh, so let, let's hit in real quick real quick here with uh, Kelsey. Uh, Kelsey, you got, you got an important statement to make. Steve, yes, so obviously Mummer's Day is so much fun, the Mummer's Parade, but we wouldn't be able to have this parade without the Philadelphia Police Department, without all the emergency responders here. So we've got a 20-year veteran with the Philadelphia Police Department. This is Sergeant Maurice. Thank you so much for all that you do for the city in general, but let alone here for the parade. Yeah, you're welcome. We're glad to help out. Now, you say this is a long day for you. This is about a 12-hour day. A lot of your guys and women putting in a lot of hard work today. How's the crowd been? for you so far. Hello, the crowd's been very good. Well behaved, respectful of everybody and each other. Couldn't ask for anything more from us. Well, thank you again. Thank you so much for all that you do for the city of Philadelphia. And thank you for keeping the mummers, the spectators, and us safe today. Thank you. Have a good day. I'll send it back to you guys in the booth. Thank you, Kelsey. This is Brian Corey Jr. and Hoppy Leap Year. It is a leap year. It is. It is? It yes. is. Oh, excuse me. They're out of order again. Well, who, who do we have here? Let's see. Oh, this is Highland Mummers. Oh, that was right. It's Happy right. New Year. Yeah, for once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this. Jump around. Happy Leap Year. The connection there. Mm -hmm. I'm slow. I didn't get that, so thank see? you. There we go. Leap. Jump around. <laughs> Another song I love, Steve. I do like this song. It's fun. <laughs> and look at the crowd jumping with them. I love it. Oh, yeah. The crowd is definitely responding. The stands. Rehearsal must be fun. <laughs> That's all I can think of. <laughs> Talk about disturbing the neighbors, uh, but uh, hopefully all the clubhouses are situated in places where the neighbors are used to it. You know how they decide to rehearse? They argue about it. They just say, hey, really? Yeah, they say, your pad or mine. <laughs> ah. It's a pad. See, lily pad and lily pad. Oh, oh sorry. got it. Got it. Oh, okay. no, no, no. Again, I'm slow, but thank you for explaining <laughs> but that. But he explained it. No, I, I, it. I need all the help off. I can get. <laughs> And so ends the Good Timers <laughs> Mother Club of the Comic Division. But we have coming up. Oh, no, we have a little bit more, don't we? Yep, good. We have uh, Hog Island, I think, is going to do a performance here. We still have two street stompers and a couple other clubs after that. But so ends the Pineland Mummers. But the Good Timers Club continues with Hog Island and Captain Billy Buggy. And this is all being, of course, judged. It's all being judged by whomever. <laughs> by whomever. <laughs> by official judges, by society, by anybody else. Um, it's just the way it is. So this is Anchors Away.
the Admiral preparing. I'm going to call it. Here we go. Billy swabbing away. Streets department will not even need to clean up afterwards. <laughs> They're getting some help today. Exactly. <laughs> come over and help me clean my house later this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> All anchors were made originally with feathers. This is not known, uh, uh, but it's a little detail I thought I would uh, remind you of. And now it's on display. Now yeah. we have a visual for how it all started. First time this has ever been announced publicly. <laughs> Explained a lot of early collisions. We didn't know why, but now we do. All right, there they go. The Hog Island New Year's Association. And coming up, by the way, are, is one of the perennial strong outfits in the comic division. You're, you're going to want to certainly see what they're doing. So stay tuned, everybody. Are we holding? There we go. Nope. Starting with Queen. This is Captain Ed Wagner and the Jester's New Year's Brigade. It's electric, playing the old electric football game. Those colors resemble the Seahawks, <laughs> but we'll be here on Sunday. <laughs> hmm. Let's hope that they lose in this skit. <laughs> no, they're playing the Dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything can happen, apparently, when you play the Dolphins. Ask the Eagles and the Patriots. Mm -hmm. This will be football of the future, where there's no real conflict or hitting. They're just sort of electric vibrations. You have such great vision. You see where things are going. It's my kaleidoscope <laughs> glasses. <laughs> they tell you all today. They tell me everything. Well, they still huddle. judged on today, how lively they are in front of the cameras. I mean, this is their day, right? New Year's Day. This is all about all that they've worked hard on, 
for this moment. Well, and now what they do is they go around the hall, which is a tradition. Uh, it used to be for, for 100 years the other way. But basically, they, they go around the hall and they go down to Carper and Washington. But if you want to come see the parade, you don't have to walk around the hall or do all of that. You can drive in. But your best bet, because of all the street closures, is to take SEPTA. So you, there are stops all along the way. and Or you can walk the ones that are farther away that you know about. But SEPTA is just this great busy thing. I mean, 70% of Center City office workers, for example, ride tri uh, SEPTA. Uh, you can tap your SEPTA key for more than just a ride. Visit iSEPTAPhilly.com slash perks for a list of participating perks partners. I saw all kinds of people getting off of SEPTA stops as I was walking over here. Uh, it's a great service, uh, and we're lucky to have them on board with us uh, as you watch the parade. You know, And if I always encourage people to come in and see it. If you watch it on television, that's cool, uh, and it, it's a great way to see it. But if you've never come down, at some point make a plan to come down because the city's so alive and so festive, and it's, it's just fun to be a part of it. And see so many of our neighbors. Yeah. You know, you get to come down and not feel like a stranger because everyone's so nice and welcoming. Uh, all right, so we're, we've got another performance getting ready here. Two Street Stompers. They're one of the strongest brigades that's out there. Jimmy Meehan and Stephen Young are the co-captains. This is uh, obviously a part of the Good Timers New Year's Association. This is the Philadelphia International Airport as they see it. A, a fashion show theme with pilots, flight attendants, and others and ground crew. Playing that great song from the Go-Go's, Vacation. Hello, I am Barbara Walters, and this is 2020. We are coming to you live from the Philadelphia airport. Philadelphia, home to the world-famous Mummers Parade, which has recently lost its sponsor. sponsor, 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 sponsor. Flight attendants and pilots, you are now free to move about Broad Street. Huge group. These are the flight attendants coming in. Oh yeah, working flight attendants. Oh my, this this is what the uh, two street stompers are known for. This Jeez. group of guys. Expression, <laughs> <laughs> character, and personality. <laughs> Many of them but there are. Who is going to save the parade? She is beautiful. Sponsors, possibly you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the pilots, there's the pilots off to the left. <laughs> the Two Street Stompers New Year's Brigade. Flying Mummer Airlines. Can you imagine, like, pilots dressed in feathers and sparkles and then flight attendants in feathers coming down to serve you? Fasten your seatbelts. That's going to be a bumpy <laughs> ride. <laughs> well, I tell you, that, that was something. No doubt about it. Happy New Year to you, too. Thank you. You say one of the largest of the clubs. They are. Two uh, street stompers. Uh, that are in the comic division. Yes, they are. And they're very successful. Uh, they've won first prize uh, several times and second prize and, and, and done pretty well. So we talked about how people in neighborhoods are watching and, and are down here and doing all that. And we earlier in the morning, we saw a couple of folks who are visiting from China. People have come from different places. Well, Jen has found somebody else who's come here just for this from a very long plane flight beer away. Jenna, are you out there? Hi, Steve. Yes, we have found somebody that has come from, get this, Australia, if you can believe that. So I'm joined by Anna. This is her first time here. Hi, Anna. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. You came all the way from Australia to see the Mummers Day Parade. Yeah, what better way to ring in the new year, right? So what do you think of the parade so far? 
I mean, you've seen a lot of it down here by the Kimmel Center. What are your thoughts about it? Uh, it's it's different. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like this, but I've heard about it. So um, I'm really happy to be here. Are you cold? How do you like the weather here in Philadelphia? Amazing. <laughs> it is so cold. You think you have enough layers on? Uh, I can use a few more, I think. <laughs> so how did you hear about the Mummer's Parade? Um, I have friends here in the U.S., so and uh, I thought I'd come visit, and uh, and here we are. And that, next to Anna, he's from Texas. So we have two people, not as far as Australia, but it's your first time here. Well, uh, what's your first name? Joe. So what do you think about this so far? Uh, it's definitely different. Don't have nothing like this in Texas. <laughs> definitely not. So Texas, Australia, uh, safe travels home. Thanks so much for visiting us here in Philadelphia and bringing in the new year with us because, like we said, no place like Philadelphia. Happy New Year. I'll send it back to you in the booth. Go Birds! Go Birds! <laughs> she knows. Back to 15th and Market, where we are looking at the Lobster Club. Captain Justin Myers, the tax price is right. A little comment on property taxes and perhaps other taxes. I love the gentleman from Texas who said, we don't have anything like this in Texas. <laughs> well, it's unique to us here in Philadelphia. But well, we share it with the world. <laughs> Now, when I came here in 1981, I had the exact same reaction that young lady from Australia did. I said, this is different. This is I different? actually yeah. said that. I said yeah. that to a reporter a couple weeks ago. Yeah, you're still saying it. <laughs> it's still the case. <laughs> oh, it is different. Oh, yeah. There's no doubt about it. But my understanding of it was a little deeper. I should say so. Steve has written a book on the mummers. He knows everything mummery, all things mummery. He is Mr. Mummer. Well, there are actually other more qualified Mr. Mummers. Uh, there's a Mr. Mummer on Facebook. There is Mr. Mummer online. You know, there's different. There are Mr. Mummers out there, and there have been great Mummers like Bob Shannon, who you know, who were called Mr. Mummer. Um, I'm just a Mummer fan. You, sir, to me, are Mr. Mummer. <laughs> I totally agree. I know we're in good company when we're here for the parade, and Steve's here. You can't Everything's go under control. Great commentary on taxes. Just walk by there. Uh, we are so blessed to have Steve Highsmith doing this parade every year. I mean, it's y your ability and uh, to anchor this. It's a, a very complicated. There's a lot of moving parts of this broadcast, and you do it really flawlessly. So. Well, not flawlessly. I mean, obviously. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you were really paying attention today, there were a couple times that didn't happen. <laughs> You're but, definitely in but, command, you know, Steve. It, it's, uh, we're but I appreciate the fact that you know you. that there's some <laughs> stuff going on. But anyway, um, I, I do want to say thanks to Bill Mull, founder of, of Mummers for Veterans. This past year, uh, proceeds went to the Veterans Multiservice Center and Old City. Uh, the, the One of the th deeper things that, that we've, some of us have learned about the Mummers over the years is just how involved in the community they are and all the great things that they do. Throughout the year. Yeah, throughout yeah. the year and uh, all the people they care about. So Jolly Jolly Comics, this is one that's been around uh, for a long, long time. Richard Jolly's great. And their theme title is 1969, which we just celebrated, you know, 50 years of. So a little bit of Woodstock and Sesame Street is going to be mixed in here. Last summer was the uh, 50th anniversary of Woodstock. There was supposed to have been a concert, but uh, it actually fell apart fell at the through. last minute. Yeah. yeah. I went to the 25th and 30th anniversary of Woodstock, but we don't need to go to Woodstock. We just need to come to Broad Street. Exactly. For one day of peace, love, and mummery. <laughs> it says it right there. It does say it right there. Oh, oh this is precious. Oh, well, that's almost Minerva, that, that magic is bus. Almost Minerva, my uh, faithful <laughs> micro bus. Oh, sure, you got me worried now. I think you're liking this one. <laughs> Got your camera out. Well, I, it's so colorful. I figure I, I need to it. capture this. Yeah, go for it. He's doing the Hendrix guitar solo of the Star Spangled Banner. And oh, then got it. up in the front is Richard Nixon off to the left of your screen, who was president at that uh, time. And I'm not quite sure who he is. But but there's, uh, there's Nixon. Nixon making everything perfectly clear. <laughs> And
and into the Who's Magic bus, perfect. Oh, so this is everything that happened in 1969. Every single thing, <laughs> Every sorry. Every single thing is being somehow in displayed two minutes. right now. <laughs> Was Big Bird around in 1969? Going up the country, can't eat. That's over modulate. And a little tie dye on the uh, on the parasols too. As the sun comes out even more on this beautiful New Year's Day that we're having. Every color of the rainbow represented. Found a hubcap. I was going to say, was that a hubcap? <laughs> <laughs> you see, in show business, you never throw anything away. <laughs> and of course, Elvis, Elvis was at Woodstock. No, I, no, I don't I quite don't think, think so. so. But you've got to have Elvis in every presentation. Happened in 1969 involving Elvis. The spirit of the king. And Jolly Jolly is known for that. For, for, there's always an Elvis somewhere. All right, we've got more to come here on PHL 17 on this, the 2020, can you believe it? Happy New Year. Happy